Good day everyone! In this video, we are going to solve the activities inside the module 8, the domain and range of a rational functions, general mathematics. What I know. Direction, read and analyze each item carefully. Encircle the letter that corresponds to, to your answer for each statement. Number one, in the coordinate system, the x-axis is called A, abscissa. Number two, in the coordinate system, the y-axis is called B, ordinate. In the linear form, y equals 2x plus 3, which is the independent variable. Answer is letter C, x. In the linear form, y equals 3x minus 4, which is the dependent variable. Answer is letter D, y. In writing sets, the format x element of r, such that x is not equal to 2, is called a... For the answer for number 5 is letter C. Set builder notation. Number 6. In a set of ordered pairs, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5, 6, the domain D is equal to letter A. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. In a set of ordered pairs, 1, 3, 2, 5, 3, 7, 4, 9, 5, 11, the range R the range R is equal to number seven is letter B three five seven nine eleven number eight some values for the domain of the rational function f of x is equal to three x squared minus five are one two three four and five find the range corresponding to each value the correct answer for let number eight is letter A, negative 2, 7, 22, 43, and 70. Number 9, some values for the range of the rational function f of x is equal to 3x squared minus 5 are 22, 70, and 295. Find the domain corresponding to each value. The answer for number 9 is letter D, positive negative 3, comma, positive negative 5, comma, positive negative 10. Number 10. Find the domain and range of the linear function f of x is equal to 2x plus 4. d is equal to d domain and range r. The answer for number 10 is letter b. The domain is uh, the elements of x such that x element of r and the range are y such that y is element of r again number 10 the answer is letter b the domain is x such that x is element of r and range is y such that y is element of r number 11 find the domain and range of the quadratic function f of x is equal to x squared plus 3x plus 4 Number 11, the answer is letter D. The domain is x such that x is element of R, real number, and range is y such that y is element of R, real number. Number 12, find the domain and range of the rational function f of x is equal to 22 plus x divided by 25 plus x. The answer for number 12 is letter C. Number 13, find the domain and range of the rational function f of x is equal to x squared minus x minus 6 divided by x plus 2. The answer for number 13 is letter D. Letter D. The domain is uh, negative infinity, comma, negative 2, union, 
negative 2, comma, to positive infinity, and range is negative infinity, comma, negative 5, union, negative 5, to positive infinity. Number 14, find, find the domain of the rational function f of x is equal to 3x squared minus 8x minus 3, divided by 2x squared plus 7x minus 4. The answer for number 14 is letter B. Okay, number 15. A cell phone provider offers a new phone for 7,000 pesos plus 1,299 pesos monthly plan. What would be the average cost after 12 months? The answer for number 15 is letter B. 1,882 pesos. Lesson 1, the domain and range of irrational functions. What's in? In your previous lesson, you learned how to represent rational functions in the form of table of values, graphs, and equations. As a review, ready yourself in doing this first drill. Let us have an equation y equals 3x plus 2 when x is equal to 6. You know that y is equal to 20. Now find the value of y on the following equations when x is equal to negative 4. So when, when x is equal to negative 4 for letter A, so the answer is y is equal to negative 11. For uh, letter B, when x is equal to negative 4, the answer is positive 2. And for letter C, when x is negative 4, the answer is 8 divided by 0 or undefined. What's new? Now, imagine that you are 96 kilometers away from Manila. You are, you are planning to visit your grandmother who will be celebrating her birthday. Your father has allowed you to drive his car so that you will arrive at the party on time. Assuming there will be, there will be no traffic during that day, you have resolved to arrive at the party from 1 to 2 hours. So, as what speed are you going to travel to arrive in a certain period of time? For your activity number one, construct a table of values that would represent the given problem. Subsequently, plot the values obtained on a Cartesian plane. You may use paper and pencil or any application, applicable graphing apps such as MS Excel, GeoGebra, or Desmos. You may use the table below as your reference. So, when okay. so this is the solution for uh, the problem so if t is equal to 1 s or r is equal to 96 if t is equal to 1.25 R is equal to 76.8 If T is equal to 1.5 R is equal to 64 If T is equal to 1.75 R is 54.86 If T is equal to 2 S or R is equal to 48 Questions to ponder. How are you going to represent the problem through a function? Again, question number one. How are you going to represent the problem through a function? The answer is R is equal to 96 kilometers divided by 
t in hour where t is time in hours number two what is are what is or are the given in the problem what are you going to solve given distance which is 96 kilometers what are you going to solve to solve for the speed or rate number three how can you describe the relationship between the rate r and the time t in the problem which do you think is the variable that depends on the value of the another variable as the time t increases the rate r decreases r depends on the value of t number four what can you say about the graph can the values in t increase infinitely so here is the graph of the problem number five what do you think would be the value of r when t is equal to zero if if t is equal to zero the answer would be undefined what is it Activity 2. Mobile Plan Glory B Telecom would like to offer you the newest smartphone which has 50 times zoom in its camera. It is the latest top-of-the-line product. In order to avail this, you only have to pay 12,000 12, pesos down payment while the rest may be paid 1,799 monthly for 24 months. So that would cost you 12,000 pesos plus 1,799 times x in two years. Think about it and answer the following questions. Question number one. If you are just a student, would you ask your parents to buy you this top-of-the-line smartphone? Why or why not? I will not because it's, too, because it's too expensive. Number two. How much would be the total cost of, buy, of buying this type of smartphone in 24 monthly installment the total would be 55,176 pesos